Hello and welcome back, Emily Jean, if you're new here, and I'm so excited because we are doing my TBR polls for March. <laughs> so grab your coffee, grab your tea, and let's get cozy. <laughs> Okay, this is my third month using my TBR jar pulls, and the first time I'm going to use them as I intended. I'm going to pull two from each jar. January, I was still finishing up some books from last year. February, I was committing to the Polarthon and a romance reading vlog, so I already had a bunch picked out and only pulled one from each jar. So this month, we're going to pull two from each jar, and then I give myself one freebie book because my goal is to read five books a month. So if you haven't watched my other TBR jars, let me tell you, one of my jars is all of my Goodread Want to Reads from 2020 and before, trying to really clean up my Want to Reads list. And then the other one is all the physical TBRs that I have on my shelves that I had at the end of 2021. So I'm not adding new books to this jar, just trying to clear up anything that I had on my shelves from 2021 or before. And then my... Uh, freebie pick for this month is Emily Eternal. So if you didn't watch my Dollar Tree vlog, I'll link that in the description box below, but I picked this up at the Dollar Tree and I can't stop looking at it. I really, really want to read this. So this is my freebie pick for March that I want to dig into. Emily Eternal. I think it's mystery sci-fi vibe. Oh yeah, it's an AI character. So uh, you guys, if you've been watching my channel for a while, know that I love sentient AIs. It has my name in it, but mostly I'm drawn because of this gorgeous cover. It's by M.G. Wheaton, and I cannot wait to check this out. So this is definitely on my TBR for March. So that being said, let's get into our polls. Okay, let's pull from my physical shelves first. Try to mix them up as best as I can and try to only pull out two. One, uh, this one, two. Okay. So let's see what we got. Blue Moon Promise by Colleen Coble. So this was one that I picked up off of a, um, kind of like a little free library setting and it really reminds me of that tv show with anthony hopkins where it's sentient uh robots this looks like one of the main characters doesn't it but i don't think that's the premise of this at all um lucy marsh's worldly resources are running out but she's fiercely determined to care for her younger brother and sister when she discovers that their father's recent death was no accident, Lucy is eager to leave town. She accepts a proxy marriage she believes will provide safe refuge, but trouble follows her to Texas. So, a story of hope, romance, and suspense. I'm not really feeling called to this, but that's okay. <laughs> this is part of my goal, is to clear off my TBRs from my shelf. So we've got Colleen Coble's Blue Moon Promise. And, ooh, Agatha Christie. So um, this is the Agatha Christie Red Book 2. So I have kept these two books in my collection forever. They made it through the great purge of the life-changing magic of tidying up and getting rid of a bunch of books. Um, I guess they're not really in order. So I don't know which one I had intended to be one. I am so excited. I think these will be really fun for March. It's still snowy in Maine. Um, I have been digging the mystery vibes. So I'm going to go with this red book and it has at Bertram's Hotel and then a Caribbean mystery. The other one has Ordeal by Innocence and Cat Among the Pigeons. Written in 1958 and 1959, this version was published in 1976 with the illustrations. Ooh. Okay, to be honest, I think this was what I had for book number two, so I am going to read this one. So, Ordeal by Innocence and Cat Among Pigeons. Add that to the pile. 
Okay. Now let's pick from my Goodreads want to read. Clear up some of those. We got one. I'm dig real deep for this one. And two. Oh, yay! I'm so excited. We have the next book in the Harry Bosch series by Michael Connolly. I used to devour this series. It's probably been five or six years since I've read any Harry Bosch. Um, I have not watched the TV adaptation adaptation but I love Harry Bosch and this is the Nightfire it's Harry Bosch number 22 32 in the Harry Bosch universe number three in the Renee Ballard um, so that means Renee is gonna show up again I love her character and I'm so excited this is totally going along with the mystery vibes I added this to my TBR August 19th 2019 Aw, 2019, Emily. <laughs> okay, so awesome. I'll request that from the library. If you haven't read the Harry Bosch series and you like detective series, uh, definitely check it out. Highly recommend. Oh, okay. So I have been wanting to read this one. I think I actually did get it out of the library last year and ended up returning it before I had a chance to read it. This is The Unforgettable Guinevere St. Clair by Amy Machini. I put this on my list in 2018. Um, I think it's contemporary. I can't really remember what it's about, but I know when I was checking to make sure I still wanted to read these that it definitely still called to me. So that is going to be my TBR for March. I've got these guys. Oh, what a little colorful collection. And then I'll request these two from the library. So I'm super excited to check these out. Hopefully I enjoy them. I have had no five-star reads yet this year. None. <laughs> so I'm really hoping that I find a five-star read soon. Um, I've had a cup. I've had one four-star, maybe two, but I hope these are fun. I hope they're immersive. And I hope you guys have a good reading March, reading month in March. Thank you so much for hanging out and hopefully I'll see you in another video very soon. Bye guys.